Hi guys, welcome to another You Learn video lesson. I had a job interview this morning, so I've been really busy the past few days preparing for that. Before the interview, I got lots of advice from friends and family about the do's and don'ts of job interviews. Everyone had something new to add. I got advice about what to research, what to wear, even down to how to shake the interviewer's hands. When was the last time you had a job interview? Did you get any advice from friends and family? In this lesson, we're going to look at how to give people advice and suggestions. Our topic today is work and jobs. I'm going to tell you some of the advice I got, and I'd like you to listen and decide which pieces of advice are good and which are not so good. You should research the company online. You should smile and make lots of eye contact. You should arrive early. You definitely have to be on time. I think you should give the interviewer a good, strong handshake when you walk into the interview. I don't think you should wear trainers. Wear formal office clothes. Some interesting advice, right? Okay, I'm going to show you some more information about the job I applied for. Your job is to decide which of those sentences are suggestions and which are things I have to do. You have to wear a uniform. You should keep your workstation neat and tidy. You should turn your computer off before you leave at the end of the day. Okay, so which of those sentences were suggestions or advice? That's right, the second and third sentences. The first sentence described something that you have to do. You may have noticed in the second and third sentences then that we use should for suggestions. In other words, we use should when we're talking about something that is a good idea or the right thing to do. You should try to get along with your colleagues. You should keep your workstation neat and tidy. The negative form of should is should not, which is often shortened to shouldn't. We use it when we talk about something that is a bad idea or not the right thing to do. You shouldn't eat your lunch at your desk. You shouldn't eat other people's food. So, let's quickly look at the grammar. Should is a modal verb. Can you name three other modal verbs? Can, will, and must are three other modal verbs. Modal verbs are different. We say, I should arrive early for the interview, but we say, she should arrive early for the interview. Not, she shoulds arrive early, or she should arrives early. Should is followed by the infinitive or root of another verb. For example, he should work harder. It also means we don't need to use auxiliary verbs to form negative and question sentences. To form a negative sentence, we simply put not after should and before the other verb. She shouldn't speak to customers like that. They shouldn't use Facebook in work. To form a question, we simply switch the first two words. For example, you should put those files away. Should I put those files away? Here are some more examples. Should we send the report? Should I leave now? Now, look at the different sentences on your screen and tell me whether they use the correct forms of should or the incorrect forms. One, she should get more sleep. Two, he shoulds prepare for his interview. Three, 
We should wear a uniform to work tomorrow. Four, I shouldn't stay in the office so late. Five, should we leave now? Okay, so why not put all of that into practice? Imagine that your friend is going for a job interview. What advice would you give them? What should they do? What shouldn't they do? Think about dress code, preparation. Okay, now imagine your friend has got the job and that they're starting tomorrow. What advice would you give them about their first week at work? What should they do? What shouldn't they do? So, let's review. We use should or shouldn't to say that something is a good idea or the right thing to do. We usually use it to give advice. Should doesn't change for the third person. Should is followed by the infinitive or basic dictionary form, this is often called the root form, of another verb. The negative form of should is should not or shouldn't. To ask a question, the should and the subject change positions. Okay, that's it. I hope this lesson has been helpful and that you practice giving lots of advice today. See you next time.